Trevor and myself are actually here at, what is this place called Trevor? Faversham Creek. This is Faversham Creek and the town of Faversham is just up the river that way. Uh, the tide's out at the moment and we are on the edge of the river here and there is a very fine old warehouse building. The clouds are building quite nicely and if we don't get soaked I'll be surprised but it'll be worth it. Uh, I don't know if Trevor's happy getting wet but uh, I don't mind. Uh, but what I've got is I've got this curious old tree on the edge of the bank here just behind me here and I've got the camera there and I've got the wide angle on the 16 to 35. What I'm trying to do is frame the old building, the old warehouse on the other side in this overarching piece of tree here which uh, I can more or less point at. There you go, I've got the pointing part right. And I've gone quite low because I want to include quite a lot of the sky because the, uh, the sky is building quite nicely. Um, we've already taken one shot but I think apart from the dog fight that's going on on the other side of the, part, the river there, I think this cloud here, which is coming this way, is going to creep over and be directly above that rather nice warehouse and will add even more interest into the sky. So I'm waiting for that to happen. It's probably 10 minutes away if we don't get soaked first. But that sky, I think, will make this image work really well. I'll show you conceptually what the image is. I'll just move the camera down and I'll show you what it looks like on the back of the camera. And what we've got on the camera at the moment is that image, which I think with a bit more detail in the sky will work really quite well. And if I turn the exposure compensation down a lot, you can see there is already a lot of detail in the sky. But I'm hoping that extra cloud coming over will actually enhance that and be even more startling than it already is. So let's wait for the cloud to come over and see what happens with that. So we've got the camera set up, you can see the old uh, warehouse across the, um, the river here and I've got the long lens on, the 100 to 400 with a 2 times converter which you can see there and uh, I framed up just the, what's that thing called at the top? The black thing? Oh god. Uh, we don't know what the it's thing at the top's called. Right. Yeah it's obviously the loading uh, mechanism, they sort of have a pulley in there and lift up the grain or whatever out of the, uh, the boats at the bottom and then take it up into the warehouse. But I think it makes uh, a half reasonable shot, so I'll, I'll get that one. Uh, just wind in a bit of negative compensation. 2.5 will be enough. I'm still getting a blown out highlight warning, but I'll be able to recover that in post. Let's, uh, let's take that shot. Two second timer, courtesy of Tom Heaton. All two second timers are Tom Heaton. Let's see. F8. Absolutely stunning. Yep. <laughs> it's absolutely stunning. Ah, mustn't take the mickey out of Mr. Heaton. Uh, Trevor says, there's Trevor, he's having five minutes rest, well more to the point, he's sitting down because exactly. it's raining and I just had the drone up which made the heavens open and I've had to bring it down again. What I was hoping to do, because I can't from the bank get the shot I want here, there's a series of wooden posts going down the creek here into the distance and there, as you can see the reflections um, and the clouds in the distance are really quite interesting. They're starting to look quite fascinating. And I wanted to get the drone just at sort of uh, about shoulder height, just out here, that way, to roughly near this post, so that I could line it up and frame these uh, posts going down the creek. Uh, I didn't manage to do that, but if the rain stops, which it seems to be doing, I'll give it a go.
as ever, uh, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.